Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. Today we're gonna to be talking about Shrouded Fable. This set is not released yet, but there is a ton of issues plaguing this set and we're gonna to be touching on all of those issues in today's video as well as talking about why this set has so many issues with it. The first big issue that I'm seeing is that there is lack of pre-orders from LGS and this is causing them to really put a lot of the products on discount. A lot of the products are on heavy discounts. Things like the ETB, which normally retails for $49.99, are going for as low as $36 from some LGS. That's a 30% discount on this product. This is a brand new product. At a 30% discount, LGS are making zero profit from selling these ETBs, as well as just being delayed. The ETBs aren't even gonna be available at release date. They've been delayed from the start of August till the end of August, which means a lot of people are gonna lose hype on this set and cancel their pre-orders, and they're justified for that because if they pre-order for August 2nd and it's delayed for three weeks, they're probably gonna argue that they kinda wanna cancel their pre-order. It's just not the same getting a product four weeks after the official release date. It's just a completely different venue. And of course, this set has been kind of considered a mediocre set by the larger community. And there is some merit to that. I don't think it's a terrible set. There is plenty of cool illustration rares inside of Shrouded Fable. The big issue is that if you compare it to other big special sets like English 151, Crown Zenith, Shining Fates, Shining Fates being the weakest example of the ones that I listed, and even then, I think it's still significantly tiers above ahead of Shrouded Fable. It's just that Shrouded Fable just does not have enough here to really wow collectors. There are some cool cards inside of it, but it's a very small set and not enough big cards inside of here. If you ask me what the big chase card inside of Shrouded Fable is, I couldn't really tell you. There doesn't really seem to be anything specific in this set that really excites me. Like I said, one of the biggest cards that really excite me was the EV Common card. Like that card looks really, really good and I'm gonna be excited to pull that card. There's a couple of other cards here and there, the Greninja EX and the Kingdra EX in their own premium collection. Those are still selling very well. But outside of those products, a lot of Shrouded Fable pre-orders are down heavily. We're talking about huge numbers here. We're talking about 80% less pre-orders compared to Shrouded Fable as other prior special sets like Shining Fates and English 151. So that's really gonna be hurting a lot of LGS. So why is this set not that exciting for collectors? Why aren't people not putting pre-orders for it? Why aren't people picking it up? And I've heard from the commenters that a lot of you guys are straight up skipping this set. So what is the Pokemon company doing that would create such a poorly received set and why are people skipping on it? The biggest reasons that people are skipping on this set is honestly kind of wallet fatigue. A lot of us have limited money and I absolutely understand that. People ask me, why do I talk about the value of products? Why do I talk about the cost of products? And that's because the most important card inside of your collection is your credit card. You have to swipe your credit card to collect Pokemon cards. And because of that, you are limited to what you can pick up. And a lot of people are just kind of tired of picking up every single new set. We just had a recent release of Twilight Masquerade and we're gonna have a brand new set that's gonna come out right after um, Shrouded Fable. It's gonna come out a couple weeks right after Shrouded Fable. There's not a lot of time to attain these sets. People are excited for Stellar Crown. There's a bunch of illustration rares that are really cool inside of that set. And of course we know there are gonna be some really cool sets that are being released later till the end of this year. And that puts Shrouded Fable in kind of a weird spot. It came out way too early to be exciting. It's not a real holiday set. It just came out too early. It's probably gonna go on fire sale on Black Friday. I can see ETBs of Shrouded Fables that didn't get sold during the release going for as low as $28 over here in the United States during the Black Friday deals. That's an insane price down. That's like a 40 to 45% discount. That's half off of an ETB. People are losing money. Stores are gonna lose money at that price point. There's no money at selling an ETB at $28. And that's kind of unfortunate that there's just so many products out there right now, so many different sets, that it's kind of squeezed in between. Would you rather collect Twilight Masquerade, Twilight Crown, or the upcoming Evolution specific set that's gonna release around the holiday? When you compare Shrouded Fable to all these other sets, it's kind of a challenging discussion, right? It doesn't stand out amongst these sets. 
all the other sets are kind of cool. And so you end up picking up some products like the Greninja EX and the Kingdra EX promo cards on the secondary market. And if you want some illustration rare from Shrouded Fables, you'll probably purchase them as singles. There isn't a ton of reason for you to crack open the set right now outside of just simply enjoyment. And that's not a luxury that a lot of collectors have. A lot of us just can't simply crack open products and purchase packs simply for enjoyment. That's a cost to us that a lot of us simply cannot afford. So from a consumer's perspective and a collector perspective, I completely understand why people are skipping out on Shrouded Fables and I completely understand why sales number of Shrouded Fable is kind of abysmal for both the LGS and the Pokemon company. So in terms of lessons learned, I think the Pokemon company should have learned their lessons years ago on this set. Just looking at the set list for Shrouded Fable, nothing really stands out to me. There are some cool cards inside of it. Don't get me wrong, there are illustration rare that are good inside of this set. I don't want you guys to think I hate Shrouded Fable, but it's very obvious that this set just doesn't stand up to the same level of quality that we're seeing from other sets. If it's a weaker set compared to the last 8 to 12 releases. Like this set has nothing compared to 151. There's absolutely no reason why collectors would be excited for it when you've released bonker set after bonker set. Like even with Shrouded Fable being released and you have an ETB of Shrouded Fable next to an ETB of 151, most collectors at Walmart and Target and retail locations are still going to prefer picking up the 151 ETB that came out a year and a half ago. That's how insane it is that this set is compared to prior special sets. So this is absolutely uh, kind of a tragic scenario. I think a lot of LGS are gonna lose a lot of money on this set. As a collector, it's no skin off my bones. I don't really care. It's not gonna make a difference inside of my collection or my wallet or my bank account. But from an LGS perspective, the fact that they pre-ordered the set nine months to 12 months in advance, that they have a ton of these products sitting dead in their inventory, I think that's just kind of tragic. And hopefully the set is a lesson because we can't really go back and fix this set, but hopefully it's a good lesson learned that for future sets, things are gonna be better and better. That there is a clear defined chase cards inside of every single set, that there are clear reasons why people are gonna want to pick it up. And yeah, it's just in a really weird spot. The set is releasing right before the World Championship. Hopefully any TCG player that uh, needs card from this set is able to pick it up. The delay in the Elite Trainer Box does not help with that because as soon as the Elite Trainer Box is released, the World Championship is over and collectors aren't gonna be excited to pick up any of these cards and neither are TCG players because they don't really need them after the World Championship for obvious reason. So just a really unfortunate scenario um, I'm not happy to really talk about this, but it's just something interesting to talk about that this is a special set and it's just performing so poorly. We have not had a set that's performed really poorly for a very long time. It was years ago that we've had a set that I would say has performed this badly. So this is a real fire sale scenario. It's gonna be interesting to see where product prices go for Shrouded Fable. Perhaps it's short printed. I don't see that. I see print numbers for Shrouded Fable being the same as any other set. And if it has the same print run as 151 or Crown Zenith and Shining Fate, and it's selling this poorly, the ETBs are gonna be on heavy discounts at Costco and Walmart in six to 12 months. So that'll be interesting to see where things go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your comments are. Let me know what your thoughts on this set are. Uh, hopefully I touch on some interesting points. If you disagree with me, that's completely fine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.